Um, all right, so we're looking at a bio garden that has uh, set up just for deep water growing. And um, it has a, in this case, a 16 foot trough and a four foot tank. And then we framed it up so that uh, the tank is down at one end and it's uh, supporting the, the end of the, the um, trough of the bio garden. And we've got plants growing on trays in a deep water culture fashion, as you can see right here. We're in deep water. And there's some wheat grass just kind of doing its thing. We're in March the 18th, 18th today. Uh, we had a freeze the last couple of nights, but um, didn't really uh, cause any problem. These plants were on another tray outside over here, but um, I just transferred them to this uh, new setup just to um, for a couple of reasons one I'm gonna I'm gonna get more sunlight here than I did in that middle trough out there in that bio garden uh, where they were they were germinated and uh, I need I need some protection from the Sun because we're gonna get overhead light uh, sunlight uh, as of now because the Sun is, is now exposing this south face of the house uh, this time of the year um, and so, yeah, so the, you need, you need coverage to, um, prevent algae from, from growing. If you're outdoors and growing in deep water, um, pretty much even indoors, probably under lights, you're going to get plenty of algae if you don't have a, a dark surface. Right here I've got, I just transplanted some peppermint from the other bio garden. I put it on a little frame, I mean a little rack, uh, so that the roots have something to grab onto, just a, a piece of wire mesh. And I got a, a stone in there holding it from my drain system. <clears throat> anyway, I'm really excited about this uh, bio garden. Uh, we um, uh, came up with this idea as a uh, less expensive alternative to doing full size tank underneath the beds. And. Um, uh, and 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 also giving us the potential to take two levels high for the for the trough uh, if we desire. Otherwise, I've got these bars across the top. One of them I use a different set of. Um, I got T's on this one and elbows on that one, and that's, you would just do T's so that you can adjust the height and make sure your level is even across the top. I haven't got all of those cross sections up there, but essentially what they'll do is. Give us an opportunity to make some shade, um, as I've I've done here with uh, uh, just some bamboo, and I can add more, or take some off, just depending on how much shade I want to get. So anyway, that's uh, that's what we're doing. Bio garden, deep water culture. I've taken nutrients from our uh, fertilizer making system. Again, that's over here. Um, we're making a liquid fertilizer from biomass blends that we put together and after that's finished brewing in this bio garden uh, it'll get transferred into containers into two and a half gallon containers where we'll store it and add it to um, uh, top off the nutrients as we need them as these plants are growing so anyway uh, that's it this is the bio garden we're doing deep water culture this is soilless hydroponics and um, and we're using an ebb and flow system where the water level is on a, is, it rises to this point where it's just underneath the trays, keeping the roots moist at their, at its highest level, uh, hitting the cups. And then when the water level, when the timer goes off, the water is going to drop down to about three inches and it's going to completely aerate the uh, upper portion of the roots, which is going to give us our oxygenation of the, of the microbes that are colonizing on the roots and um, and oxidation of the organic matter that maybe binds to the roots so we get oxygenation of the of the plant roots without having to use mechanical aeration uh, I think this is a pretty cool approach to um, uh, to doing the aeration and all we're doing is turning off the pump for an interval and allowing the water to drain down uh, using our um, 
our designed little valve system that we got a little trickle valve that's kind of cool um, comes with each of the bio gardens anyway we're making these available online uh, you can check us out at bioponica.org or bioponica.net and um, yeah send us an email or post your comments here let us know what you think and uh, look forward to hearing from you